This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 4, Controlling Memory with Variables, Puzzle 12, Expressions with Variables. Arithmetic becomes much more interesting when we use other variables in our expressions. For example, we can do this, which they mean this, right? So we have a variable named Quiz 1, that's 99, and think of this just like X or Y, right? X can be some number. Quiz 2, 85. Quiz 3 is 93. So we then add all of these together and divide by 3. Ah, there we are. Addition, division by 3, computation, and then the average. So the average being 92.33. The end result of the expression with variables is the same as one without. The major difference is that the values are retrieved from memory in order to do the calculation rather than hard-coded, rather than just the numbers themselves. Mental model check. Watch the animation above to check the expression the computer will. First retrieve each of the values of the variables used in the expression, then the arithmet arithmetic expression can be evaluated. Finally, the the computed value can be stored in memory. Do this scenario. In the starting code, we have provided you with variables that might be kinds of things you would keep track of in a game. Total time, points, and lives. See the right? Yep, that's it in text mode. Right now, the total score is just set to zero. We want you to compute a final score so the person is rewarded for having a lot of lives, a lot of points and lives, but penalized for taking a lot of time. Write an expression with that calculates the player's total score and stores it in the total score variable. The calculation, wow, there's a lot. The calculation is the player's points times the lives divided by total time. For values provided, the app display should look like this. Okay. Okay. So total points times lives divided by total time total score variable all right where is our total score variable so we do have a total score variable and way down here they set oh here's total score and it's equal to seven okay and then they put print it out because they print out this string plus the variable total score so what we want it equal to is total oh is points times lives, was it? And that's the multiplication sign, divided by total time, and then divided by time. And we can just write, you, and because order of operations, oh, what's it telling us? Oh, right, because it's total time. Order of operations, this should work just fine. We got 62, 68.2. Yep, you could also put these two numbers, if, if it's more clear for you to put them in parentheses, these first two, you can, but either way will work. So there we are. Awesome, let's keep uh, going.